people always come to my videos and they say, Outlaw, you're so intelligent, you know all of these things, you're so smart, how are you able to say all of these things? And I think I've been able to feign intelligence simply by way of knowing so many words and knowing how to use them in a way that sounds interesting or cool, despite the fact that when you look deeply at the meanings that I'm presenting, I'm not really saying all that much. I'm not really saying anything beyond what I've said before, but presented slightly differently. Sure, there's small new ideas within the mix, but most of the time I'm just repeating the same thing. And I believe the act of being able to speak well on a platform like YouTube is just to be able to take more or less the same ideas and to be able to spin them in an interesting way every time, all the time. Because YouTube isn't necessarily about having the best content on the platform. It's about being able to say as many words as possible in order to sustain the algorithm. And my videos do that. There's a reason why I've been steadily gaining more and more subscribers every day. I'm at 569 currently. Just a couple weeks ago, I just hit 500, you know? Like... The subscribers are going up by a lot, and I, I see these people, they tell me, you know, Outlaw, you're so smart, you know how to do all these things, but the thing is, is that I just know how to talk. That's, that's it. Like, I've trained myself to be able to take my voice and project it out to people in a way that sounds good, because that's half the battle. Like, honestly, look at videos of mine like charisma is more important than ideas. In that video, I literally argue that the reason why people will look at you isn't because you're smart, it's because you're charismatic in what you're saying. A lot of people will just flock to politicians and entertainers with terrible ideologies when you look at them with any facts or statistics, but they'll believe in them because what those people say is with a charismatic tone and funny and cool. If you do that, then you have everybody. You have everybody already. And um, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that people don't put in the effort to try and understand what people are saying on an intellectual level rather than just an emotional one from the response of, oh, wow, they're good at talking. But it's just how people are sometimes. And I can't really blame them. I'm the same way with a lot of things like, when I see images of certain politicians who I look up to, sure, there may be some intellectual um, ideology behind why I think about those people in a positive light, but at the end of the day, I'm still looking at a picture of a human being and, you know, getting happy and glamorizing them and idealizing them because the propaganda is just that good. I, that's just how it is. People respond emotionally well to things like patriotism and propaganda. It's specifically designed in order to make people react well emotionally and to hit those senses with charisma. And, it, I mean, sometimes people are smart, and the way that they market their shit is by being a smart person who also has charisma, but both types are intelligent. Like, I'm... I may be intelligent for being able to talk well, but it's not like it's it's not like a book smart type of intelligence, right? The stuff that I say is good on a speaking level and it's good on like uh sometimes being able to say a lot of complex words and being able to put those into sentences in a way that makes sense. Not always. Sometimes I'm completely grammatically wrong in sentences. Sometimes I use the word wrong or like in the wrong context, but more or less I know how to say it in a way that makes people go, wow, that sounds cool, right? And now you look at it from an intellectual perspective. It's like, well, what are they saying? Why are they saying this? What does it mean? What does it mean in the grand narrative of everything? And then once you really take that magnifying glass towards what I'm saying, you realize that a lot of it's bullshit, right? Um, and, uh, <laughs> or at least in my opinion it is like there, it's stuff that I legitimately believe it's stuff that I have a lot of heart for when I say but I mean I'm not arguing it well like I'm not saying it in a way that makes total sense or that could be uh 
that, you know, could be extrapolated in a, in a way that's good and cool. It's one of those things where, like, I'm just kind of saying it. I, I'm, I'm making the point. You get the point emotionally, but it's not the same thing, goddammit. It's not the super well-argued, got-all-my-strats-out type of way, you know? I, I don't know, man. I, the point I'm making here is that I'm actually not that smart. Um, a lot of these, even just my own videos, right? Like, these are all made in one take. I barely ever do a second take. These, this is one take, dude. Like, all my videos are that way. Even the scripted ones, even the ones where I use a fucking script. Those videos, all done stream of consciousness in, like, 20 minutes. Like... These are not high effort videos. <laughs> They're just things that I put out there because I think it's fun to do and because I want to express myself. But they're super fast to make, and, um, you know, I could easily argue all my points better if I really looked at them with a, with a fine glass and I said, yeah, you know, th these, are, these are the real strats for everything, these are the real truths of the world. But I don't do that, I just make it sound like they are from being able to talk well. And I'm very proud of my ability to do that, and I'm not saying that I'm conning you guys. I, I'm just saying that, like, the type of intelligence that I possess isn't necessarily one of being able to know things. It's being able to know how to say things. Um, and I think it's important to realize that I'm actually not that smart of a person. I'm just a normal person. Like, you know, people out here, they, they look at YouTubers and they say like, wow, you know, like I'm 16, for example. People come up to me and they're like, wow, you're a super genius for being able to do this skill. No, I'm not. I'm not different than any of you. I'm exactly the same as all of you guys. The only difference is that I worked hard enough at a skill that I really enjoyed because I love YouTube, I love watching YouTube, I love making YouTube. I just did it a bunch of times, all the time, super fast, and then I got good at it. I was never really good at this. I was pretty shit when I began. But I just did it enough times until I eventually thought that my own videos were good. And that's not rocket science. That's not something a super genius does. That's just somebody who was passionate enough to try. And being passionate isn't a form of intelligence, it's just something that people do. So, like, I, I'm not different than any of you guys. I, I just tried hard enough and long enough at a thing that I liked, and, you know, to be able to say that, oh, Outlaw is 16 and they're super intelligent, no, that's wrong. You know, I'm just a normal guy. Um, so that's, that's kind of the point I'm making here, is that, you know, uh, you shouldn't, Anybody who's watching these videos, you shouldn't be like, oh, wow, Outlaw is so smart because they're 16 and they're saying all these things. I've just practiced long enough to be able to do those things. And I mean, you can do the exact same things, too. Even if you're like, you know, 26 and you've never touched a camera before, if you do videos 500 times, eventually you'll be able to be good at it if you just look over every single video and then realize what the flaws in that video were and then try to fix them. All you gotta do is apply some thought to what you're doing and do it a bunch of times. 75% of the battle is doing it again and again and again, and then eventually you get good at it. You just gotta do it. Like, my videos, I've made what, like over 900 videos now? I didn't do that just by sitting on my ass. I got out here and I made some shit. But I'm not any different for doing that. You can do the exact same thing. You have a camera in your home, a microphone, a computer. You can sit down and do the exact same fucking thing. Like, I'm not special because I did that. And, like, I'm, I'm certainly not unique because I tried to be unique. I just said my truth. And if you say your truth as well, you're going to be just as unique as I am. <laughs> like... Nine times out of ten, if you just tell the truth, then you're going to be unique. Like, I just, you know, people, you gotta, you gotta have some confidence, you gotta have some determination, some faith, and you'll do well out there. You know, I, I believe in every single one of you watching this video, even though I don't know you. The reason why is because I know that every single human being has the potential to do something great if they just practice enough. 
And if this is something that you're truly passionate about or that you want to get into, like even with YouTube, like YouTube takes basically zero effort. You just start and record and then you do it again and again and again and then you succeed. But like if there's something with more effort and you're more passionate about it, you can do that. It's just you need to try hard enough. If you try hard enough, you'll be good. You know, every single person, every single person out there can do that. It's just a matter of time. You know, I put, what, four years into this thing. I still don't think my videos are super great. Some of my videos I really like, like my Goblin Slayer video. That's one of my favorite things I've made just because it shows that I can get passionate and talk well. I was a big fan of how I talked in that video. But, you know, the Noble Way Ito video is another one. That one was just written with... Uh, sense of character to it that I really liked, and, you know, that was stream of consciousness as well, but, like, there are certain videos of mine that I really like, and other ones that I just find kind of mad, because there are flaws that I have that I need to work out, and I, I recognize those, and I want to I wanna get better as a result of them, but, you know, everybody can do that, and I, I have a long way to go. This certainly isn't the stopping point for me, you know, I've made some videos that I really love, but I want to make more videos that I love even more. It's always a process of trying to go up.